Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. So if there was one lie of Meghan's that King Charles has proved to be a lie, it is the fact that Meghan stopped King Charles from meeting Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. That's all for the main content of today's newsletter. King Charles I of England asterisk allegedly received some very bad news from Montecito. Of course King Charles is currently battling cancer so it's looking like he won't get to meet his invisible grandchildren Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet after all because Meghan Markle doesn't fit with Harry's plan of bring them over here, according to a source. Really, it appears that Harry and Meghan, who first stepped out of the spotlight in 2020 when they left royal life before later decamping to America, simply have no intention of fully jumping back into the good graces of Her Majesty. All the signs suggest, however, that Meghan Markle doesn't want to go anywhere near the UK. But royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams believes a reunion, especially for the youngest Sussexes may not ever be likely. Harry will never dare to bring them over on his own because there have been too many terrible things said about Meghan, he told Express. The Duke of Sussex is expected to go back next month to mark 10 years of the Invictus Games, but Meghan almost certainly will not be accompanying him. Since stepping down in 2020, Meghan has returned to the UK far less frequently than Harry and generally only for very special events such as the Queen's funeral in 2020. Except she didn't come back last year, for King Charles's coronation. Harry did that all by himself. They could come and they could just use their own security people, honestly though. Like, I mean, they quite literally cashed out on dragging the whole royal family through the mud. But still I would say that they couldn't have enough financial backing for it. Let them pay for that directly. Marvelous. Outstanding. It is high time they revealed the truth about invisible children. Now is the time to shift those goalposts and for the royal family to speak out, tell the truth and end this whole sorry saga. Give the two of them a DNA test to prove they are Harry and Meghan's biological children. Unless they took a curious side job doing it all for money. Now I think Meghan is very conscious of the fact if there were children who came with them on either or both tours, a DNA test will take place. So now she won tea come. You can't possibly keep those kids in that place any longer than you already have. I mean and if Harry can't be bothered bringing the children then maybe he shouldn't come either. Needs to be killed cut all them off King Charles. Hell, he doesn't even know if they're legit kids anyway. He shouldn't be concerned about the little shits. Or maybe Meghan doesn't come because she knows that Brits don't like her, and rightfully it is 100% her fault. Oh no, that would simply be because of their appalling behavior over four years. And we haven't seen Archie and Lilibet have we? We have no evidence whatsoever that Meghan actually birthed them. I mean, apparently, according to her dad at least, she had a hysterectomy way when she was in her twenties. But here's the thing. Of course Meghan Markle is never going to think about the long-term implications before she comes up with her lies but at this stage, your kids are more than old enough to travel. Still, Meghan is fast running out of reasons why she does not bring them along. And so now we are told it is a public health necessity, and on and on this goes, and says she only traveled to Britain where the late Queen's funeral was a stop-off point for them because of the carriers that went out. The Queen even extended an invitation for them to come up to Balmoral and visit her while they were in the country, a royal source told the Post at that time. But they declined. Just a few days before she died. We were only coming in for well child, and that was all. Okay, so next on the docket we have what might be Meghan Markle's most flagrant lie, like ever. If you recall, we all stopped playing Happy Families when Piers Morgan accused her of lying during that Oprah Winfrey interview back in 2021. As she said at the time on Meghan and Harry's interview special, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. When I went to the institution and told them that because of my mental health condition I needed to go in order for me, there they put me. I was told that I couldn't do it, that it wouldn't be good for the institution. Indeed, Piers was clear on one point. Megan was lying. 
I'm not kidding, the man has yet to change his mind about it. So what happened once this is over, he said. Reporting by Chris Kirkham, editing by Rosalba O'Brien, two years ago. Ever since then, not one bit of indisputable evidence, witness or a name of that guy has ever been published. Although, a book which is over 400 pages long, that Prince Harry has simply not got around to mentioning. Racism claims notwithstanding, as I intimated. A scene from the past, as though it had never occurred. This does not make sense at all. So why did Harry just not get some help for his desperate wife? Harry could have quite easily arranged for some help, you see. He wanted her to be dependent on him. He also reported that his therapist was on hand, contact them after you've left William on a sour note big freaking deal. Why didn't he reach out to them when it came to Meghan? None of this adds up. This simply does not make any sense at all. But if the institution had him in therapy it wasn't such a big deal, and why now all this noise re a poor lil oil gal who has been utterly mistreated by Meghan? I swear, it's like a fucking rabbit hole every single time I go to unwind their web of lies and deception. But that still doesn't happen. Sometimes I think it's just a vile nightmare I say to myself. No pleasure, only a horrible loop, but from where I was sitting, it looked as though Meghan Markle wanted to run the show. Obvious, of course that was never going to be allowed on this establishment. They understand the whole Meghan wants, Meghan gets theory isn't real life. There's a lot of hierarchy and protocol involved, too. But Meghan felt they should be on an equal footing with the Prince and Princess of Wales, which was not going to happen. As there can only ever be one king or queen at a time, the line of succession and protocols that surround it has developed over hundreds of years to avoid wrangles. If we go by the historical records sometimes it would not even argue properly and things could turn pretty quickly. All matters for the monarchy and all aspects of how a monarch is chosen are handled by parliament. She seemed to be motivated by what one might call a pursuit of the power. This girl was in a hurry to get up top. Although, I can't really imagine she did fall pregnant that easily. Some people are just not really cut down to be a parent and Meghan Markle, she doesn't strike me well, you see that's the thing, it is my understanding she, like myself, doesn't have children and may never have wished for any at all. When she does this, it seems like a very manipulative way to act. Use of this site constitutes acceptance of our user agreement and privacy policy. Copyright 2021 Reddit Inc. All rights reserved. I hope Harry gets clued up, dumps the wench, ships her back to whence she came and stops this constant stream of gormless pics being pimped out on the web. God, I hate the disgusting face and how she always looks straight into the camera no matter what. Megan undoubtedly lied. Clearly, Megan was lying the issue of mental health is a sensitive one for the royals, especially as other members have long received support. Both Diana and Charles did in fact get therapy, as Harry has too. In addition, Meghan's mother Doria is a social worker and it has been reported that the couple have a mental health professional on call. Meghan Markle has proven her dishonesty time and again. Amazingly, Meghan has inherited many of those same traits from her mother, the devious and scheming Doria. Really? I can't believe Megan actually attended and graduated from Northwestern. I suspect all the documentation regarding her education, along with her alleged former occupation as a flight attendant, are complete fantasies. It appeared dubious whether the birth certificates for her children even existed. All of which appears to be a big money-making scheme. Maybe, just maybe, when Megan announced it was time for her to escape this poisonous environment and they thought, via MY sources, that she'd meant an elaborately appointed spa retreat. Or somebody said, perhaps that's not a great look for the monarchy com 406 DMP 0102 and maybe it got filed away. Then again, he has a therapist on speed dial. If that's the case, why not just call up his therapist and ask for one? Captain Obvious to the rescue. Well, Piers is spot on emo. Of course, the other liar is Megan. He's a liar, as well. He is a breath at himself. 
Both of them lied. Both of them are lying. Instead of owning up to their lies when they were caught, they attempted to make everyone feel bad for them claiming that they have mental health problems. That's no excuse at all. This is not an excuse they each knew exactly where to go for the help they needed, and they're both in on the lie. The whole lot of that story I don't buy any of it. I mean, the suicide ideation? Catastrophic car chase TV interview, all of it just in an attempt to keep up with Diana. Oh, that is scary and horrific as well to even think about that's just how Meghan Markle is. Of course not, she replied. I'm the reincarnation of his mother. Her whole self is contrived. Honestly everything about her though true to his word, if she was seriously considering killing herself he would have done the right thing. He knows what his mother's mental health issues cost her. Then who was going to stop him from getting help for his wife? Apart from some mental health charities, all of which he was connected to. He'd had a therapist on speed dial. Look, if he were head over heels for Megan, he'd be gone already too and all of these rules from the institution would be out the window. But listen, this is all a massive heap of horse sh asterisk t to conveniently link Megan with Diana and enable her to play the victim over skin color. Oprah just played into it. Oprah fell for it too. Oh, so many untruths were uttered by Meghan Markle and Oprah never once challenged it. The other thing of hers that's simple to fake and, listen, I understand people can be depressed and not really look depressed, but Meghan Markle, the look on her face isn't I'm so sad type of being. I mean, how can you be depressed when you have this bright new love that is only gonna get stronger every day? Yeah, they had a ton of chances to go out then too I mean, anyone is able to make that cookbook. Just look at Meghan Markle. Ramirez pretty much got the most glowing of upgrades possible. So once upon a time, a few years ago, many years now, I used to live in this royal palace. And my life as a royal. Well it was really quite splendid. This, this is why this story isn't adding up. She said she didn't have the backing of the royal family, but no, that is nonsense. It was the opposite. No, it was the other way around. Because she had been having those problems with her father, the then Prince Charles walked her down the aisle. The dowager monarch even went to the inconvenience of taking her away on vacation, all alone. She was privileged. She had the luxury. And that, you know, I don't want to automatically think the worst of everybody when it comes to mental health and admitting suicidal ideation. But I don't believe that Megan in fact was suicidal at all. Normally, I'll take anyone's word on that, but this is Megan we're talking about. So no. And also sad, I guess, what she used that for a means of crying out for attention about her own thing. She was totally trying to divert attention away from how much good work the royals are doing with all of this complete nonsense, Megan said. And among my all-out-to efforts was a ludicrous boa train number when I took my turn burlesquing Wallace Simpson, last in, doing the big whoop de doo at Her Late Majesty's Big Do. Princess Diana, after all, had done something similar. And she often sought to upstage the work Prince Charles was doing. Yet, at the same time, it is not as if the palace were trying to silence her. But the palace was very careful not to do anything that would be damaging to her reputation. Even I had the perfect relationship with my late majesty and Prince Philip as well. That any major entertainer should see fit to lampoon, even by faint implication, the national figure in a way that may cause injury is insensitive, tasteless and confi, she said of Elton John's suggestions. In fact, Princess Diana even cut off her friendship with him for publishing such comments about the Queen in his charity book. I was like she's so respectful to the dead Queen. But anyways, let me get to the bottom of this Meghan Markle suicide. And in my considerable experience, if someone is actually going to kill themselves they carefully lay their plot and don't let anyone know because the objective is success. It's devastating and I've seen ones close to me take their own life. Now Harry claims I told him exactly what I wanted to am and that I just didn't want to carry on living anymore. That if she'd truly meant to kill herself, she wouldn't have left a note for Harry. Everything Meghan says could be a new fiction, 
because this is all about eyeballs. Megan needs attention, and she's not getting much from Harry so her only currency is bringing down the royals. Hmm, I actually kind of feel sorry for Wallace Simpson. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.